Hello Taurus, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all doing amazing, wonderful and fabulous. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back. Everybody here is welcomed at Fifi's Tarot Readings. Taurus, let's get straight into your reading. I like to dive straight in and get straight to the point. Let me clear the deck for you first. And I will be concentrating here, Taurus, for the next couple of weeks. For those that have a particular person on your mind and there is no contact, what is really going on? Let's just get straight to the point, yeah? Let's just put all the cards on the table as I'm about to do. So whether it is a permanent breakup, you know, a, a permanent disconnection, or even if you're on a break, what is really going on? So this is all about clarity it's about clearing the air um and if there is no contact maybe the cards are saying hey maybe it's a blessing in disguise you probably dodged a big bullet here um or even further pain or it can actually indicate perhaps there is a chance to heal this so let's see one more for taurus please and Taurus, if you do like this reading, if it resonates, if it speaks volumes to you, there will be an optional extended reading. And the link to your optional extended reading is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. Um, and I have actually clearly labeled link to your extended reading. It is available to rent, to purchase. You can download it to your phone, to your computer. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it, Taurus. It is yours for life. You can actually use it as later reference here as well. So Taurus, here we go. Oh, and for those that do ask, the purpose of the um, extended reading, it's an extension of this reading that I'm about to do. And I always do your extended reading from your person's perspective and only from their perspective about you, Taurus, such as their true thoughts, feelings, what are their secrets, desires, fears, actions, and outcome. So it's a really good way to see even both sides of the story. But let's get straight into it, Taurus. What is at the bottom of your deck? Oh, wow. Okay, well, we have a, a personal victory card. Six of Wands here ruled by Leo. Now, remember, don't get too fixed on the zodiac signs. It can be any, any star sign at all, but I will see them um, as we move along. This is personal victory here. It's not overnight success though, Taurus, but something here can work out because the sixes here, all sixes, are all about healing. It's all about balance and peace, equal give and take here. It's about that personal victory. Now, it doesn't come overnight. It seems perhaps there is something going on where you probably have to meet in the middle um, and then move forward. Forward. so it's kind of like a work in progress it's always assured though Taurus um, but yeah very interesting though let's see three of Pentacles Capricorn energy perhaps some of you actually did meet something to do with your professional life you know studies um, employment a professional network of friends something to do with the coin um, that doesn't have to be for everyone but this is for everyone every Taurus watching this and cross watcher is that it seems here that your person wants to be team Taurus they want to be back in your good books they want to meet you in the middle collaborate create magic not argue with you and listen to you this time listen to understand and not react I like this this is also face-to-face -face communication here I think it's long overdue for some of you and this is, it's not that strong of a message yet, but for some of you, we could have had a third party interference, probably at work or a friend here, but we will get to the bottom of this. Mm, we have the seven of wands, Leo energy. So we've got progressive energy here. Um, I would say here that it seems that you're a little bit defensive now. I think your person knows this. This is like you being assertive. You're standing your ground. You're defending your position here. I think your person may be taking their time coming back to you. There's that two of swords. It's like they don't know how to approach you yet. It's because I think they know here that you're probably frustrated. You're kind of angry here about something that happened. And I will find out why. I usually find out pretty early in the main reading as to why or what happened here. Um, so I think they're worried here that you're going to be judging them quite harshly here. Um, even if you're not saying anything they, and you're listening, you know, they know that you're kind of judging them here as well. They are prepared to fight for this, which is what I like. This is someone that it's like when they come back, it's like, well, this time I'm going to fight for this because I still believe in us. Mm, I think a lot of you, yeah, six of pentacles, there you are. That's Taurus energy. See how the scales are just slightly off balance here. So there was definitely no balance or there was no equal give and take towards the end here. And I'm thinking here with the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, we also have Libra energy with that Two of Swords. I think a lot of you though, even though if your person does want to reach out to you, 
um, you're probably a bit indecisive here on how to react because I'm seeing here that you're single, you're resourceful, independent, you have that million dollar idea and you're doing really, really good in other areas of your life though. So you probably could be, it could be a period of time, even within the next two weeks, this definitely could happen for the majority of you. It's like, yeah, your person wants to fix this, but do I want to fix this though? Because the thing is, we might say now, yes, yes, I do want to fix this. Yes, I want to hear from my person. But when they actually do, something happens where, especially in your professional life, you're just really hitting it off. This is my entrepreneur card. It's my self-employment card here. Ooh, this definitely could happen when you're very, very busy. And I think you're wondering, has this person really changed though? Is this just going to be another cycle again? Let's get to your main reading. Yep, yeah. the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is all about having that clarity here. This is a breakthrough. This is what you wanted now. This is a mental breakthrough. It is clearing the road before you um, and it's just starting all over again. Ace of Swords, just like the Ace of Wands shows of a successful new beginning. Um, this is not repeating the same mistakes from the past though. So I think what's happening here from what I can already tell is perhaps you had that one argument or that one, it was kind of boiling over until it just simmered over the pot um, and things got out of hand. And now your person's like, listen, can we at least just talk about what happened? I think here they want to set things right though. And I will be clarifying these cards. So we also have here the Knight of Pentacles, very strong Virgo energy, could be dealing with another Taurus. And we also have Capricorn here. You have the slowest Knight. The absolute slowest night. It is the most grounded night. It is the most reliable night, which does show a passage of time. So after a long period here of not talking to each other, it doesn't matter if it's been more than a month or even more than a year, your person is really kind of chewing on what to say to you. I feel like they want to say the right words to not trigger you. They don't want to poke the bear, in other words, <laughs> or poke the bull as you're represented in um, the Zodiac here. Um, so I feel like they do. Well, we do have. It's weird that I say that. I didn't realize we've got a bear right there. <laughs> OK. Anyway, going back to the reading here, I see here that they do want to offer you something valuable, something a bit more solid this time, such as. And for me, it's in the form of a, a, a conversation here to get straight to the point and to clear the air. One thing they don't want to do is argue with you. They don't want to do that. Yeah, they do want to offer you eventually at the end, they're building the courage to offer you their cup of love. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female, does not matter. In fact, your person may be heavily relying on their intuition. And Taurus, I'm seeing here that you're really focusing on yourself. You're focusing on number one, which is you, which I think is very mature, very smart and very wise of you. Um, filling up your own cup, really valuing about self-care, self-respect, self-love here, me time um, as well. This is the nurturer card. They certainly do not want to argue with you. I'm definitely seeing that. They want to meet in the middle, clear the air and then say, okay, by the way, hey, I still miss you. I never let you go. What else do we have? Yeah, justice. This is a major here for um, Libra. Perhaps something, I think what's happening is why they took their time in coming back, why they're still taking their time, is that something very unfair happened. I'm just getting here that they said something to you that was very unfair and it hurt as well. But what I love is that in this particular deck, the scales are completely balanced. It is a yes card on its own. So yes, um, are they gonna reach out? Yes, are you gonna have a chance to clear the air and talk? Absolutely. For some of you, this can indicate also separation, signing of legal documents and divorce here, and just balancing the scales and making up for lost time and lost love, earning love and um, you know trust and respect back. But the truth was going to be revealed. Everything that's been going on since you have been separated, they wanna tell you the truth about everything, which I really like that, I really do. The beating heart of your reading here is the emperor. Aries energy, we've got the divine masculine coming forward. And what I really like here about, you know, on its own, the emperor, which is all the kings wrapped up into one, is that the emperor takes action. Now they realize is that, well, I hurt Taurus, I did them wrong. They're not going to be chasing after me, so I'm going to. Even if it's slowly, um, if it shows that it's been more than a year or a couple of months, it feels like it's been forever, they will eventually be taking action here. One thing I think they're realizing here is that their past attitude here, um, actually contributed a lot to act why you didn't, you know, why you're separated here. The emperor sometimes can have some very bad ego issues, my way or the highway. Um, you know, even if you're talking to them, they're not listening to you. Um, so it's kind of like that. Sometimes it, it, they can be not a full blown narcissist, but it's all about me, me, me sometimes. My way or the highway, the foot's down, this is how we do it. When they realize it actually should be equal give and take here. Now you've got the fastest night from the slowest. Now we jump to the fastest one from them taking action. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
Yeah, so they literally cannot get to you fast enough. So once they actually, you know, reach out, and I, I do see that you will be talking here, absolutely, because this can represent mutual energies, meeting in the middle, taking action to see each other though, because now we can read this different ways. Um, I'm seeing here that they think they're gonna be pretty quick in their intentions. Why don't we try again? What if, if we tried one more time that this is probably gonna be more successful than ever? Page of Pentacles. Capricorn energy again could be another Taurus or a Virgo but very strong Capricorn energy this is face-to-face -face communication they do want to offer you something first of value it could be small though such as let's meet in the middle let's try and be friends and then we'll build it on from there although I think that's not going to last long I feel they want to move to romance quite quickly here mm -hmm. interesting what else do we have is the four of swords Libra energy and here they're dreaming of the fastest night to take action I feel here that both of you will be chewing on your thoughts. This is about collecting your thoughts, gathering your thoughts here, um, recuperating, gathering your mental energy. This conversation here could be quite draining here as well. It's like we're going over this all over again. We're talking about why you did this to me or even why you left about your attitude here. But what I like is that fours are all about security and stability here. So I think both of you will meet in the middle on how to move forward together as a team though. What else do we have? Yep, is the Eight of um, Pentacles. This is Virgo energy, and this is working hard together as a team. I'm just keep getting that energy. Both of you meet in the middle, completely eliminating outside influences or people that may be trying to put in, you know, their nosing and judging or do this, don't do that, for example. It's going to take work. Absolutely. I mean, the six of ones, I said that it's not overnight success. It's going to take work, especially from your person's point of view. But I'm kind of seeing is meet in the middle. This indeed, it can absolutely work. Yes, it can. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me clarify these cards for you. I mean, this is literally your person trying to redeem themselves here. I feel like your person's also working up an apology about something that they said something that they did to you. Mm, they're definitely going to have to change. I think they know that because you're heavily focused here on um, your career, your coin, your studies. Taurus, please, and their person, no communication. What else is really, really going on? So all is not lost um, here, Taurus. Absolutely not. Last one. Here we go. Bottom of the deck is the Magician. So this is Gemini Virgo energy. Just apologies, I got really, really bright here. Um, if I close the window, it's gonna be very, very dark though. So this is the Master Manifester. In the past, there could have been some manipulation here. You know, those people where they have the ability to twist conversations around and they make you feel bad or suddenly it's your fault. I think this is something that your person's realizing now that they need to drop. So they have to come back as a 2.0 version, better than ever. But this is all about manifesting brand new beginnings. In fact, the card is actually saying here about you because there you are right now because they want to commit to you is that if you both met in the middle, you literally can create magic once more. And I see here that they're seeing you as, you know, commitment, marriage material here as well. You got my favorite card of healing. You got temperance, Sagittarius energy. It's about taking it slow. Your person want, may want to move this very fast. I'm seeing here that if anything, spirit is saying, take it slow. Take it slow, absolutely. Um, this is all about dropping baggage. Any baggage from the past, just drop it. Especially your person is, they're realizing now I need to do this. They're coming back here with peace, balance and harmony and the, the desire to heal this. And look, we got the, um, the emperor twice and you got the fastest moving card is the chariot. So they're literally coming towards you. It's not a question, will they? It's if, no, sorry. It's not a question if, it's when. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to say it's pretty soon because you've got a lot of major arcanas here. Um, this is all about sheer determination. You've got two victory cards, the Six of Wands and the Chariot. Personal victory about moving forward. They're going to do it. They're going to take action first, Taurus. You pretty much don't have to lift a finger. I think because they're feeling quite guilty here as well. Ace of Swords here is clarified by my favorite card. Yes, yes, yes. I don't care where this card lands. We've got a happy outcome. We've got the Sun, Major there for Leo. This is a happy outcome. It is joy. Pure joy, happiness, blessings here. Yep. So whatever they're going to tell you, it's going to make you quite happy. It's going to, and what I live, 
a, a lot about the sun, it is often known as illumination. The rays of the sun are going to cast light onto everything here. And I feel that they know that they need to tell you the truth about everything. I think here they're going to confess it was their attitude as well. It's like, ah, oh, you know, even if they think I didn't take you seriously, or I didn't take it seriously, you know, the connection in the past, or maybe I wasn't ready. They're going to basically tell you the truth. And I think that's what you need is that clarity. And it's going to make you really, really happy here. And we're talking about blessings and a happy outcome. The Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Wands. Very strong Leo again, but could be a Sag and an Aries. What I like is that the King of Wands is the go-getter, the entrepreneur, ambitious person here. They're going to be taking action. Not only do we have beautiful equal amounts here of action, of love, but also of passion and intimacy. I think it's going to make you happy because I'm seeing a lot of action. So yes, they're going to say, yeah, I want this, I want this. Can we talk about this? And let's plan together. But they're going to show more in action here um, how they want this to work, though. Let's talk about that Queen of Cups is the tower. Wow, Scorpio energy. This is going to take you by surprise. This is the destruction of old foundations. When the tower appears, it is necessary. It is there for a reason. This is now building up the tower together as a team, but this time making it better than ever. And I have a feeling that this was a very impulsive ending. It could have been, like I said, that one argument or they did something here. Even if you found out something, whatever it happened that they did, this was a very abrupt ending. This is something they want to talk to you about. I think they're realizing now that they gave up too soon. Uh, or if they walked away, it's like, I did that out of anger. Whatever reason that they give you, they realize they shouldn't have done that. And I think it's going to be a beautiful, shocking surprise when they offer you their cup. Yep. Because this can swing either way. It's a very volatile card. I call it my shocking card or my shocking surprise. My breakup or my shakeup. They want to come and shake things up in a good way, though. Big difference. The justice is clarified by justice. <laughs> oh, wow. So you're both mirroring each other. When we clarify the same card with the same card here, I think both of you will meet in the middle and discuss the truth here. Yeah. This is double yes. Double yes that this is going to happen. Wow. And both scales, I believe, if I'm looking, yep, they're both balanced. That's good. They're not always balanced. So the fact when we clarify one card with the same card of a different deck, it is really solidifying what's going to happen here is that we're getting a genuine apology. They want to balance things here, make up for lost time, um, and they want to reveal the truth about everything, the past, the present, and what they want in the future. The Emperor here is clarified by the Ten of Swords. This can also represent mutual energies, Gemini energy. I think they, re they know here that you're feeling still perhaps quite betrayed, cheated. It is about loss, ending, separation and divorce, which is why I'm thinking here, this ending was very impulsive and it was all they're doing. And I think they're going to own, a, own up to that. They know that. So that's why when we say well, what's really going on during this no contact, there's a lot of contemplating here about you know, reflecting about what they did in the past, how things ended, how it's bothering them, how this is what they did, but how they also want to make things right. Yep. Mm, they're not happy about this. And if there was a third party, I think what's happening also is that they are experiencing their own endings here um, too. The Knight of Swords is clarified by the Page of Pentacles again. See, so yeah, we're getting similar, we're getting the same cards, we're getting the same energy here. So what does this mean? I think you do want to meet this person face to face. They may reveal something shocking to you. That's why we've got the fastest night they're coming to. And they may reveal something quite shocking, such as, hey, this has ended. Or I want to see you face to face because now I really, really want to work hard on this. They're going to say something. But I, I feel here with the sun, it's going to override anything that you may perceive as challenging or anything that you think, oh, OK, I don't like that. But if you look at the end goal. Yeah, it's looking quite good. Hasn't been perfect, though. We can definitely see that. Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Three of Wands. This is Aries energy. Your person is waiting for the right moment. I feel, Taurus, there's a big part of you that's still waiting for them. Your person knows what they need to do. We've got two wands behind them here. They're holding on to that one wand. Metaphorically, that's you. They're waiting for the right moment to strike, to reach out to you. Yes, they're procrastinating. Yes, that can be delayed news. Why? Because of what they've done here. That's why. They haven't moved on, Taurus. They haven't forgotten about you. It is pretty clear here with these cards that they haven't. Yeah. I'm seeing a bit of reserved energy here from you. But I think that's smart, though. Let's talk about that Four of Swords. Another Four. Four of Wands. 
So after a lot of contemplation here from the both of you, after discussing face-to-face, -face, it definitely could be a, a bit mentally exhausting this conversation later. I think both of you will agree to reconcile. The Four of Wands is my celebration card, my twin flame card, um, where it talks about the chaser and the runner sometimes. Reconciliation, commitment, marriage, perhaps even moving in together or talking about that in the future. Yeah, I think now you'll both be on the same page. Can this be repaired? Yes, it can. It's going to take time though. Temperance and Six of Wands saying it will take time. It's going to be a process day by day. And that's the best way to deal with it. The Eight of Pentacles is ruled by the Seven of Wands. We got it, believe it. No, thought we got it somewhere else. Yes, we did. There we are. I thought I knew I saw it somewhere. This is actually fighting for this now. Yep. Working hard and fighting for this connection. Instead of every time we have an argument or I get hurt, we go our separate ways. No, this time I see your person sticking around. One more. The Five of Swords. Don't tell anyone this. Five of Swords. Not everyone's going to be clapping for you. Aquarius energy. Silence is golden with this card. I feel that both of you are going to backtrack, start again from the bottom and work your way to where you were at the start, which is definitely guaranteed here. Five of Swords though. You don't have to tell everyone what's going to happen. Not everyone's going to be happy. You may actually find out that certain family members, friends or co-workers are probably just going to be quite jealous about this, which is why silence is golden. So that's just an extra advice here for you. And I say that because, you know, the outcome is never a straight line. You know, it's quite complicated here. How interesting. Now, in your optional extended reading, where is it? I wanted to focus on the chariot because this is actually your person coming towards you because they want forward movement um, I'm going to be focusing now everything from their perspective as they see you and the connection right now as it stands what else is going on so the link is in the description box below um, and as I said available to rent or purchase um, you can do whatever you want with that video you can even keep it for future reference um, if certain things you think, oh, you know, that doesn't make sense, it will make sense in the future though. So I'll see you on the other side, Taurus. I thank you for joining me and also do look out for your bonus mini reading that I will be launching on YouTube in the next couple of days, where I'll be focusing on every area of your life, such as current energies, love, life purpose, career, and anything else that Tara wants you to know. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the other side, Taurus. Take care. Bye.